Well, welcome back to the second half. Um, I, I'm doing these videos while I sort of decide what I'm going to do in my main campaign, so please don't think that I've packed in my campaign, anybody that's following it as we go along. But um, anyway, here's the next one. Um, it, it's a brig, again. Surprise, surprise. But the brig I've shown you already had um, a 1200 hull and 13 speed. Right. OK, if you look at this one, the hull strength, again, oh, this one is 1200, actually. Some of them differ. Yeah, and the speed on this one is 15. Uh, the one I showed you was 14. I think maybe it's the American one that's um, that's 11, 50 and 14. Oh, no, sorry, uh, which is 12 and um, 13, so I'm not too sure. But the, um, oh, I know, the um, the British one, sorry, was 11, 50 and 14. Right, that's right. This one's 1215. Anyway, the point is, they're all slightly different. Um, so, you know, when people come to me and say, hang on a minute, you said it was um, only going to have this much. But uh, anyway, so I just thought I'd show you that because um, then you know there's a difference. And you can play to your own strengths as well. That's what this is really all about. Not remembering all these statistics. It's actually about, oh, come on, all right. It's actually really about remembering to check out the ship. Now, this one is a crafty one. Yeah, um, it's a Zebek. Right now, this is one uh, that, that um, the uh, what, what nation would you call them? I don't really know. But the Mughals, the Marathas, um, you know, the uh, Mysoreans, people like that, the Persians, perhaps. You know, they would have ships like these, Latin rigged. You know, these, these sort of ships like this. Only don't be fooled. It's not like the other Latin rigged ship. This one is a fighting one. Beauty of it is, it's fairly speedy. It's got four guns in the front as well. So as it's chasing you, it's hitting you with those guns. I believe there are four. They only look like three there, don't they? I could have swore there were four on that. I wonder where he's hiding the other one. Hmm. Pretty sure there are four guns on the front of there. It's only looking like three at the moment. But anyway, let's go around the other side of the ship because this is an awkward angle, isn't it, I think? OK, um, I don't know what's happened, by the way, to my computer. It's um, it's altered the sound again, so I'm hoping you can hear me. Because, um, uh, oh, I don't know. Anyway, it does it occasionally. It's all to do with, I think, the latest version of Flash. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 2 up here, making 10. I know, you've probably spotted those. I'll tell you about those in a minute. So 10 on here, 10 there, that's 20. 4 on the front, front which is 24, so where are the other 4? And this shift ship is crafty. Do you see what it's got? It's got these hidden under here. Now that's really smart, isn't it? That's where I'd like to be a gunner, if anywhere. You know, round the back there, just shooting out of a hole here at the back. Because you've got, you know, cover from these areas here, and you can always sort of run out or dive off the side. You're not sort of stuck underneath here when it begins to list, are you? I can't really show you under there, but they do, believe me, project from underneath there. Um, so anyway, they can fire four from the front, four from the back, so they're pretty handy from any angle at all. They're not the weedy little ship you might think they are. So anyway, full stats, you can see those for yourself up there. The other ship that I didn't include on the previous video, um, perhaps because it wasn't available to the British, is the race-built galleon. Now the race-built galleon is not just a normal galleon, uh, this is a stripped-down galleon with different types of guns on it, you can read the bump about it if you like, um, but their medium um, movement instead of the Spanish galleon, or any galleon really, which is um, uh, you know, which is a much slower speed with very poor manoeuvrability. I'll show you that one in a moment, but anyway this one's medium. Yeah, There's nothing on the front, nothing on the back, they're all the sides, they're all, they're all broad sides basically on this one, so it's a bit like you're going in against one of the, uh, the heavy first rates or something. So it's a big heavy ship, but it's really big and heavy because it's a cargo carrier rather than a man carrier. So the number of men on this ship is only, say, 77 on this racing galleon. But this is the pirate one, really. So, I mean, th this is one that you'd use to chase down other ships. OK, looking over here at this one. Now, this one is the Floyd. Um, the Floyd is the equivalent to the galleon on the Dutch side. I don't believe other nations have got Floyds, which I think is a bit unfair, really, to be honest with you. But I quite enjoy them um, because uh, they were very, very handy in the United Provinces campaign. Uh, because once you put them on trade hubs, they're pretty good. You know, they, they're better than Indiamen in terms of trading. You get more trade from them, and also they can defend themselves. So anybody thinks, oh, hang on a minute, you just got a load of trade ships in there, comes tra attacking your hub, you've got a defence. They're pretty much standard, you know, in terms of broadsides down each side there, and they're fairly decent size guns. I don't know how heavy the guns are, to be honest with you. I can't remember that, but if we look, oh, here, then we can see the firepower, pretty decent, 
Accuracy is pretty good as well. 153 men, not brilliant, but it's a decent enough amount. Maneuverability is only low. Speed um, is pretty poor. Um, but, uh, I don't know, recruitment costs as well, but they, they get their money back, these as well. You can go out and fight with them, and then you can put them on your trade hubs. Handy ships, if they're the United Provinces. OK, so looking over here, we've got the final one, the Galleon. This is the one that fooled me so much in the first place. This is the, um, the trade ship. That the, uh, that the Spanish get. You're going against those thinking, hey, they're a trade ship, and boy, can they blow holes in you. But look where the disadvantage is. 400 range. They haven't got 500, they've only got 400. Now, to get close enough to hit the rigging, really, you know, and the sails, you're going to have to get within that 400, so you've got to be really careful. But if you look on there, manoeuvrability is low, and speed is poor, so you should be able to get in there and whack them a few times. And like I said before, Sails are the, are the same on any ship you're going to hit. They fall roughly the same. Um, I, it depends how many guns you've got firing at them and the size of the guns you've got firing at them. But generally, they'll go on whatever size ship you're hitting. So really, um, like I do, most of the time, just go for the sails. Anyway, so you can see the recruitment costs. You've got a good breakdown there now of all the different types of ships that you're at, at your proposal. You can increase all these stats by roughly two, not not all of them. Uh, the range never improves, of course, but generally add two per chevron that you get in a battle. So um, your accuracy is going to go up, say, to um, 45 on this from 43 as a general rate. Um, reloading skill, I don't think that improves very much. I haven't noticed it, or maybe it goes up at a much slower rate. I really don't know. It does go up, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know how much. The hull strength obviously never increases, and your speed never increases, and nor does your manoeuvrability um, as you gain chevrons. It's really, d very definitely your accuracy, um, and I don't think it affects fire, but maybe reload skill, not as much as it does your accuracy, accuracy though. So all, an all-round pretty darn good ship there. So, you know, you think, well, trade ships, okay, not much good, but believe you me, they're worth their while. Now, let's show you one or two sort of um, tactics with um, sea battles, because that's, after all, really what this has been all about, isn't it? So, let's see if I can contrive a little situation that might be a bit of fun. Right, well, here you are. There's the deployment phase. Um, you can deploy them uh, any which way you want. Um, they start in that position, both of them right next to each other. If the ships are too close, they will interfere with one or two with, with, with their movements, and you'll notice I've complained about that a couple of times in the battles that I've had. So, end deployment. What we've got here is um, two British uh, brigs against two French brigs. So, we haven't got such a good hull strength, but we've got a slightly faster speed, which I'd go for any day of the week. Notice what he's doing. He's already going off one way. He's seen me turn one way, so he's decided to go the other way. So, what do you do? Turn your ships and get them facing that way. You'll find that what's most likely to happen is he'll decide, once he sees you go the other way, he'll start turning back the other way again. But so anyway, the main thing is he does tend to keep um, uh, in line you know, with his ships. He won't turn so that he can hit you with a broadside on uh, both his ships at the same time. He will try and go across you, of course, and take both of those ships down there so he can hit you both at the same time, which you know, he's up to do. He may well manage to achieve that. Let's just put these on um, chain shot just to see if they can reach. You see that? You'd be wasting your time if you put them on chain shot. Yeah? Now, he's hoping, of course, that what he's going to do is be able to hit one without hitting the other. Can we go across there? Can we fire yet? Not quite. OK, so bring them both in. Get them just that little bit closer. That's OK. We can handle that. Yep, there you go. One shot in. Now let's turn them round. Yeah? Turn them round. I'll take this one that way and this one this way. Draw him on. He's going to come closer to me. It always happens. Yeah? Now, he still hasn't really quite got the angle. He hasn't got the range to be able to hit that one. And he hasn't got the angle to be able to hit that one. And we're probably moving outside his range now. So he's just on the outside. Way on the outside there. So we managed to get... Hits in, certainly against him in a way that he couldn't get against us. Now, what we're going to end up with now is both our ships entering into a position whereby we can get behind him. That's the idea, anyway, generally. So we should be able to fire both of those now, yeah? OK. We certainly can't get on the... Um, all right, let's start moving this way again now. See, you see the technique? I'll, I'll show you in a minute the, um, the way that it works in terms of what can fire and when you can fire. You see this ship now that we've got highlighted, that's got 12 out of 12 on the left now. He can fire. Watch him fire the 12 out of 12. Right, he's gone. So 12 out of, tw 12, out of 12 have now gone. He can't do anything else now with that ship. Okay? 
So you'll find that he'll be able to fire with the right hand side, that's um, this side here, these guns here on the right before the guns on this side are loaded. So you're maximizing your firing. And because he's going rearward, he's going all the way around from the rear, it means his rear guns are also getting a shot, which aren't included in this firing, of course. Yeah? So, okay, round we go. Right. Now, left side still not loaded, right side firing. You see what I mean? That's the advantage. Right, well, I'm going to go up this way. Um, I'm going to turn him that way as well, actually, because what I want them to do is try and go around the rear of those ships if I can and get just a little bit closer to them so that I can start taking out sails. Now, in terms of guns, he's got 24 out of 26 on that one, 26 out of 26 on there. We're down to 24 and 26 on ours as well. So it's very much an even battle, this one. Yeah, It's when you start to get close up that things make a difference. Now, can we now hit the sails? Let's have a look. Yep, we can now start going for his sails. It looks like he's almost in our range for hitting him. Ah, we're going to hit him there with... Um, all right, so let's pull those around a bit. Right, did we hit him then? Yes, we did. Okay, so we started to take out sails. That's the way to go. You want to get sails as much as you possibly can. Get round him. Yeah, and then start spinning. Usually in the big battles, you'll find he does this a lot more. You'll go in line a lot more. If you start your ships facing him, or even totally away from him, totally at the back of him, and you'll find, oops, are we on chain? Yes, should be. I'm hoping we can fire chain from there. Might not quite be able to get in. Oh, we're still unable to fire anyway with those yet. Uh, right, okay, it's just a case of continually checking that, isn't it? Right, he's got 12 out of 12 now on that side, so can he fire now? Not quite. So I'm going to have to fire ball because he can't reach with the uh, the chain. But really, it's preferred, uh, much preferred if you can get those sails down and get at least one of those ships out of the action as quickly as you possibly can. So you'll find on here, you see that now, he's got 10 guns on that side and he's got 9 on the other. So you want to be careful about that one as well when you're deciding which way round you want these ships to be turning. So this ship here should be coming round there. I'd love him to be able to engage with Chain. Can't do that yet. He's still on ball. This ship here. Uh, he's on Chain, but I don't think he's going to be able to reach on Chain. Um, let's get him coming around there as well. Keep him away from this ship and take the sails off that one if we can. So we're basically making it so he's only got one operational ship in there. So anything else we can fight with? Four out of nine now. Uh, see so we can do chain. Can we get chain in there? Yep. Okay, some chain shot going in there. And, right, one out of eight left on that side. And this ship, hopefully, we'll be able to get some chain in there now. Oh, he's already fired. That's a shame. That's such a shame. Um, he fired ball at this ship before the other one could start think thinking about using his chain shot. Is he able to fire on the left yet? You see what it's all about? It's watching what you've got on either side of those ships so that you can maximise what you can do with them. That's all it is. That's what that's what all sea actions are all about. They really are. So it's looking like he's got a couple of, um, of chain shot in there. Not many, but he will be doing that again. So this side should now have his full guns shortly. I want to start spinning these ships as soon as possible, but really what I've got to do is take one of their sails out first and get them out of the action. Okay, what I'm going to do with this one now is spin this one round because I suspect he's going to come round this side so I might then be able to get a shot in both ways with this ship. Nought out of 12. It looks like we're not going to get close enough to be able to use that so I'm going to fire ball instead. Okay, he should be firing ball instead. Ah. Okay, now you see how they're coming around this way? Now, one thing you have to be very careful of now is that you don't get in the way of your own ships and you don't fire through your own ships because these will actually do that. Now, what have we got on the right side? Got three out of 12 left. Come on, get round. Take out some sails. This is what we want. Now, on the left side, we've got 12. Come on, can he engage? Is he close enough? With a little bit of luck, he will be able to. Can he engage there? Not quite. He's just not quite getting the range. So he's going to have to fire ball, otherwise he's going to be wasted. Yeah? Hit with the ball then. Yep. 
and twist this one round. So he should get um, the advantage of firing with both sides now, this one. And also he'll get to fire from the rear as well when he does that. Right, OK. It would be really nice to have got the fire in against there. In fact, what I'm going to do is take him round this side. I know it's going to take him a while to reload. But if I can get him round there, I can get a good shot against those sails in there. And that's really what it's all about. Again, it's a very even fight, this one. But the whole idea is to come away with ships at the end of the day you know, that you take as prize money. So to the right-hand side, we can fire. To the left, we can't. So we get that round one round as quickly as possible. Might have to turn him round the other way in order to do it. This one's coming round. Left side. Yep, there you go. He can take the sails. Now this one's spin round there again. And this one will be spinning round the same way over that way. So they should end up fairly next to each other. Yeah. If you want them to spin a little bit quicker, you can do this as well. So just do that. OK, and they will go that little bit quicker. Um, this one I want to move around a little bit more anyway. So, yep. OK, anything on the right side? Yep. Oh, we're hitting with ball. Darn it. Oh, that was a shame. I missed that one. That's a bit sad. I definitely wanted to hit him with chain in that position. Round again we come. OK. Now, what have we got on the right and what have we got on the left? We can hit him with either now. Let's get him round here. Come on. I want shots in against those sails. I want that back ship completely useless. OK. Great. Now let's turn him again this way. Take out those sails. Come on, I want you turning. Yep. OK. Right. OK, be nice to see a mast coming down. See that one there? It's almost surrendered. What we want to do now... You notice I went for his Admiral's ship as well, by the way. <laughs> what we want to do now... He might even be surrendered. Is he surrendered? Yes, he is. He's actually gone now. That's one ship out of there. Take the other one round. Now, this one is the one that's suffering the most damage, I believe. So turn that one round there. OK. A little bit of luck. We should be getting across the sails with that one. Yep, there you go. And around again. And you can see what it's all about. It's all a bit dull, I'm afraid. But this is the way to go. This is the way you win your sea battles. OK. Uh, looks like he might even be making a run for it now. He's one ship now against two. I've got 22 guns on one and 17 on the other. That's 39 guns. So the trick is to keep spinning your ships around so you've got the advantage of both fight sides firing. You see this one here? He's got um, eight guns on one side. He's got seven on the other. This ship here, he's got 10 on one side and 11 on the other. So it's more of an advantage to him to be firing from one side than the other. Now that his ship is too far away now for me to be able to engage him with... Um, uh, you know, with uh, chain shot. So what I'm going to do is use um, is use ball instead. Okay, and then like I said before, keep turning. If I'm going to turn him back the other way to the left, then he can get a shot from the stern as well. Always worth doing. Right. Okay. Which side hasn't fired? Left, right. Doesn't matter for this one. Either way. Right, and we're going to have to hit him with ball because we're not going to be able to reach him otherwise. OK. So that's what it's all about because at least you'll take out some, some of his guns then, you see. When he gets a bit closer, then you can take him with your, um, uh, you know, with your chain shot. OK, come on. Which side can fire, which side can't? Left and right. Either side can fire with that ship. So in other words, I'm going to turn him the other way, this way. Uh, I should have more chance of hitting him shortly then. OK. Right. OK, so th this is the reason why I don't show really all of sea battles normally. But um, it's been commented on that it would be interesting to know what the, the battle tactics are for ships. You have to keep them away from other ships, by the way. Otherwise, he'll get snarled up with that ship. He'll, he'll just get, throw a, a dicky fit, we call it here, you know, um, and won't do what you wanted to do. Because he'll just say, I'm too close to that ship, I shouldn't be doing anything. OK. So uh, what have we got now? Left, right. Let's turn him this way. OK. And catch him there.
there you go and then turn him round here in fact no I'll just bring him completely round there yep oh wrong way this way that's it we'll catch him as he comes back round here I don't suppose we can get him with chain there can we no we can't just don't waste your chain shot if you can't reach him with chain don't do it anyway you, you know it's, you're better off risking um, just him getting away really I, mean, I don't know how many he's got on this one now he's still got a full 26 out of 26 he's done very well on that ship hasn't he we might end up with one of our ships surrendering of course at this stage right now you see how he's coming around there this is what we want so we turn our ship round that way and we should now be able to get him with chain when he comes round this is the way to do it that's the perfect time now to get him with chain just as he comes round I don't know what we've got on our right side seven well I got seven can we get in there before he does and then spin him again very quickly. Look, you see how he dropped his sails then? Yeah. Okay. All the way round, because we're going to do that again. Okay, you see how he just dropped those sails completely? Partly because he's going in the wind, of course. Yeah. Now, let's see if I can get him with chain shot on there. What have we got here? Left and right. Okay, so I want him on the right side so we can fire again, because we'll be loaded on that side before we are on this side. So you get the picture, don't you? I'm repeating the same thing over and over again, I know, and I'm sorry about that if it's boring. But um, this is the whole technique of the sea battles. Yep. You are going to get um, hit, of course. I mean, you know, you are going to suffer casualties. But the idea is steady, concerned about casualties. Why isn't he turning? That's what I want to know. Oh, yes, he is doing now. I don't know why he wasn't before. OK, and this one should also be on chain shot. Now what I'm going to do with this one now is rush him round the back of there because we've got him on both sides. We've isolated one ship on its own now so we should be able to go either side of that ship. But left side and right side, either side can fire. Let me just turn him this way, give him a bit of a shot. Now these are just brigs, like I say, why isn't he firing that left side? Oh, left side isn't ready yet. Right, let's come back up here. Okay. Come on, I want to get round there and give him another shot from there. Now, just turn that one there. OK, and then I'll bring him round here as well. So I might get him when he gets up there. As oh, sorry, no, I wanted to go that way around. Yeah, so we might get him up there as well. Yep, and just turn... Oh, no, I can't turn him. Oh, sorry, I'm turning the wrong ship. I'm trying to turn this one. I took my eye off the ball there for a minute. I might have to go to ball for this one because there's no way I'm going to get the chain to reach, or will it? I think it might just, actually. What have we got? Left side on that one. Yep, and no right side. Actually, the right side is reloading fairly quickly. Maybe we picked up a Chevron. He's getting better. He's looking like he's a bit unhappy now, that ship, isn't he? But, uh, OK, let's spin this one round. OK, all we need to do is just take out those last few sails, and he's done for. Okay, getting around on that left side where we've got eight guns left to fire. You see the sail, can't you? The white along the top there of that circle. You just look in there. You see the white along the top of that circle there? That's what's going. You need to get that down to another. You see how it went red on that other ship there? You need to get that right down. Yeah. And the closer you get, of course, the more effective your fire is going to be. So turning around again there, we'll take more sail out, or we will be doing. Yeah. Round again. Now my ship's unhappy of course, but it doesn't matter because we've still got the advantage over him because we've got this other ship over here. If mine surrenders, he'll come back into the battle afterwards. So, okay, is he going? Is it, I think, he, yeah, he's actually routing now. But it doesn't matter, we've got plenty of shots on this ship in the meantime, so he's still got 24 out of 26 guns. He's doing pretty well on that ship, isn't he? But... Um, we've got this one in here as well. This has still got 20 guns out of 26, and we've still got a fair chance of taking out that sail. It l it's looking like he might just get away from me. Um, or outmanoeuvre. He might just outmanoeuvre there. What have I got on the left? Left and right. Right, he's just had a shot. So let's see if I can get around and get him from that side there. I don't think he's going to come into chain range. I think he's going to stay out at ball range. So let's see what happens. We should be able to maybe just get across him there. I'll just turn that a little bit quicker. 
Right, OK. It's going to have to be ball, I'm afraid. I'd love to be able to hit him with chain on that one. Oh, maybe. We might just get in range. Yeah, it's looking like the other one might be happy again now. Might might just have come back. Yep. OK, that happens, of course, when they break. It's just like infantry, basically. If they go... Right, that's a good bit of sail. It's a good hit, that one. You see how he went red there? Once he goes red, then he starts to get unsteady because he can't move and he can't get away. So he's going to go very slow now. Double-click the ships. You can click crosses on here as well to get the extra sails, the um, top sails. So we should have gone across him. You see that? So what we'll end up with there now is two ships captured, and that's all it is. Continually spin your ships. They're exactly the same ships, these, basically. So it's all about, um, I mean, suffering the hull damage, which my ships will have taken badly. See all that yellow on there as opposed to the green? That's because my ships have a slightly less hull than his, OK, the British ones are slightly faster, but it doesn't make that much difference when you're spinning around and you can see that, can't you? So, so it's a basically basically a case of making sure that you're firing left, right, left, right, left, right, all the time, getting the advantage of your rear, rear guns firing at all times. And that's the same principle, any battle you do. But you'll remember at the beginning, what, what was happening, he was coming straight towards me, he saw me facing that way, he instantly went the other way. Now, that's one reason for facing him straight away, going straight towards him, seeing him come to you, and then just so he gets close, then turn left or right. So it depends, really. But, I mean, the main thing is is you need to make sure that you get the first broadside in if you possibly can and those are basically just the general tactics slightly different depending on which ships you've got and of course if you've got a Zebek coming towards you he's got four guns firing all the time that he's coming in as well so if you're sailing towards him he could actually be hitting you at the same time so really that concludes the um um, the naval tactics. I mean, this this is the same on principle with the big ships and the small ships. I wouldn't use them as ships in line if I were you. What you'll find is you'll go all the way around his fleet like that, firing from one side. He'll batter back, and you'll find all the left side of all your ships has all lost its guns. All the right side, facing out to sea there, will have nothing to shoot at, and it'd just be a complete waste of time. So the tactics of forming a line and sailing round somebody doesn't work in this game. They don't reload quickly enough. They really don't. So what you need to do is um, is make sure that you're spinning those ships around because they turn quicker than they can fire. Anyway, look, I hope the uh, the battle tutorial has been useful um, for the ships and the breakdown of all the ships. You get um, uh, all the attributes of the ships as well. You'll get, um, you know, flintlock cannons and rifle cannons and stuff like that. All those different features that you'll get for your ships, which will give you an advantage. And also, if you're fighting against big, heavy ships, um, then then you're going to need some ships that can fire at a longer distance. If you're firing against quick ships and you've got heavy ones, they'll try and get away. They'll just run off when the morale breaks and you'll lose them and you won't take the money. So keep a sloop amongst your big ships or a brig to go and chase him down and watch him go for that ship as well. Go for it like artillery. Keep it behind your main line and launch it when you've got an opportunity to take somebody out. That's what it's all about. Anyway, any other questions, don't hesitate to get in touch and I'll see what I can do for you.